Did you hear earlier this year, Beyonce was sued? Do you wanna take a guess why? It wasn't because of a photo copyright issue. It wasn't a big multi-million dollar business deal gone wrong. Actually, it was because of her website. Beyonce had bad website content strategy, and as a result, she's gonna to have to pay the big bucks. Hi everybody, I'm Ian Corzine, your social media lawyer, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about Beyonce's bad website content strategy, and I'm gonna show you, as creators, how to avoid the same business mistake by using an ADA-compliant website and also strong website terms and conditions. All right, let's hit this. In 2018, Mary went to Beyonce's website to buy a Beyonce hoodie. However, she found that she really couldn't make it through the website because it wasn't properly coded for the screen reading software that she used to be able to access the internet and websites in general. Specifically in the lawsuit, Mary alleged that Beyonce's website violated the Americans with Disability Act because the website itself did not contain alt tags for the video and photos on the website. Alt tags are words that are there to describe what's happening in the photos and in the video on a particular website. Screen reader apps that blind people use actually speak audibly the words that are in the alt tags so that blind people, people with disabilities that can't see, can hear what is in the photos and the video. You may be asking, does the Americans with Disability Act cover websites? And by its terms, the answer is no. Actually, in the ADA, there is no explicit reference to websites. However, US courts have reviewed the law and interpreted that it does apply to websites. And people that publish websites need to make sure that their websites are accessible to people with disabilities. Courts now say that websites must be coded in such a way that people with auditory or seeing disabilities can access the websites and gain information from them. Now, Mary's lawsuit under the Americans with Disability Act is actually not unique. You're gonna pause for a second, but actually in the first half of 2018, 5,000 lawsuits were filed in America alleging that websites violated ADA requirements. These lawsuits allege that artists and creators like you did not include in their websites the alt tags that allow people with disabilities to access information. It's actually a denial of information for people with disabilities. Can you guess the penalties for violation of the ADA? It's actually kind of crazy. It's $4,000 per violation, per photo, per video that doesn't have alt tags and you have to pay, if you're found in violation of the ADA, the attorney's fees from the person that is suing. Once Mary's lawsuit is resolved, Beyonce is in for a big bill. Her website contained many dozens of photos and videos that didn't have alt tags. This is bad website content strategy. Creator, do not let this happen to you. Let me show you how to make your website ADA compliant and protect you from lawsuits with strong website terms and conditions. Step number one is to make sure you do an audit of your website using the Wave Web Accessibility Tool. There is a link to this tool in the description section below. Basically, you run this website tool, it will analyze your own website and identify areas where there's non-ADA compliance. In other words, it'll pick out the areas that you need to work on so that you don't get sued for failure to abide by the ADA. Step number two is to make sure that your website has the appropriate alt tags that accurately describe the video, audio, the photos in your website so that people with disabilities can still access the information on your website. Step number three is to make sure that you have strong, I say rock solid website terms and conditions that people can access by clicking a link at the bottom of your website. Social media lawyers like myself highly recommend that every website contain strong website terms and conditions. Why? Well, this forms the legal basis between you and visitors to your website. These are the rules that you set forth that govern the relationship. So if someone has a problem with your website, they say it's inaccurate or there's some defamation on it, these are the rules that govern. You control the dispute with these website terms and conditions. Where do you get good website terms and conditions? Well, there's a few places. First of all, you can write them on your own. And in the description, I provide you with a link for my five tips for writing rock solid website terms and conditions. You can also download website terms and condition templates 
from the internet. Actually, on iancorzine.com, I have a website terms and conditions template that you can download. I wrote this and it's specifically designed for creators like you. It's custom and detailed so that it'll protect creators' work on social media. You can also hire a social media lawyer to draft, to custom draft, your terms and conditions for your website. This is recommended. If you'd like to discuss this with me, you can go to the link in the description section below and schedule a consultation. Step number four, regardless of where you get your website terms and conditions, you need to make sure that these terms and conditions include include a limitation of liability clause. This is a great clause to have in your website terms and conditions because it limits your liability from any damages related to inaccuracies, defamation on your website. It does not totally protect you from ADA compliance websites. However, it goes a long way of getting you, the creator, out of lawsuits and back to doing what you do best, which is creating art for the internet. Step number five is to make sure that your website in the terms and conditions has an appropriate copyright notice. You as the creator, as the founder of the website, have those copyrights to your branding, your logos, the words that you write. You need to make sure that if someone comes to your website and takes that information, that you have a cause of action against them and this copyright notice provides that. There are a bunch of other clauses that you need on your website terms and conditions. And if you need more information, make sure you download my five tips to rock solid website terms and conditions. You can also download my template at iancorzine.com and schedule a consultation. I only wish that Beyonce had scheduled a consultation with me. No, I mean, then I could have advised her on proper ADA website compliance and strong website terms and conditions. Purely professional. But Beyonce made a big business mistake and I wanna show you creators how not to make the same mistake and other business mistakes. If you need more information about how to avoid business mistakes in social media, then watch my video right there. If you're new to the channel, then come join us. I'd love to see you here. Hit the like button, consider subscribing, and join us on Discord. There's a link to the Discord server in the description section below. Okay, that's enough for today. We'll see you next time.